Today we are talking about wireless video transmission. Let me introduce you to Fieldwords Lightsky W1000S and uh, 1000FT. It is an HDMI SDI wireless video transmission system. I will show you scenarios when uh, they are indispensable for my workflow as well as cover the specs. Make sure to watch the entire video. But first, intro. What's up everyone, Peter here. The Lightske uh, W1000S, what a hard name, set is a real-time wireless video transmission system supporting SDI and dual HDMI wirelessly transmitting in a range of 300 meters with an ultra low latency. It also supports one transmitter to multiple ones and uh, you can also use an app for monitoring it, which is super low. Let's unbox it while we cover the specs and accessories. The Filver W1000H offers a stable wireless transmission with an impressive range of 1000 feet, it is 300 meters. Yes, you heard it right, it's really, really long distance. This means you can roam around freely on set without worrying about signal loss or interruptions. Inside the box you'll find one transmitter and one receiver, ensuring a seamless wireless connection. Additionally, there are five antennas for improved signal strength, a cold shoe mount for easy attachment to your camera setup or rig, a Type-C USB cable uh, where you can charge or transfer data. With an incredible low latency of just 0.08 seconds, the W1000H ensures that your video feed remains in sync with like real-time action. So say goodbye to any delays or discrepancies between your camera and monitor. But wait, there is more. It also includes a full duplex uh, wireless intercom feature. This means that you can enhance communication on set, allowing for seamless coordination between crew members so you don't need to shout or use hand signals across the set if you are with the crew. And that's not all. The wireless transmission system also also supports real-time app monitoring, so basically you just connect your device, uh, whatever, iOS, Android to your W1000H via the designated app that it has for these uh, systems, and you can monitor your video feed right on your smartphone or tablet. It's like having a portable monitor in your pocket, but without spending the bucks. In terms of pricing, you can get your hands on the W1000H for uh, $430, depending on where you get it, and I think it's a pretty good price-value ratio. Editor Peter here. I just realized that I haven't recorded a sequence where I tell you that that's it about the W1000H, and now we are going to dive into the field monitor from Fieldbird, which is the CAT6. It's a very unique. It does all the things, we will cover everything, but has one standout feature. And actually, I would like to ask your opinion. What do you think about it? If you like the video so far, give it a big thumbs up. And also, write a comment about where you see yourself using these devices. Let's dive in. Let's dive right in, starting with an unboxing and exploring its key specifications. Inside the box you'll find the CAT6 monitor recorder itself, a micro HDMI cable for seamless connectivity, a mini hot shoe mount for attaching it to your camera or rig, and the manual of course that you can use for any guide, but hey, here is my YouTube video and you can find tons of others as well. As for tools, it has a ton that you want to get from a device like this. Focus, framing, exposure, including waveforms, RGB parade, which is like histogram and vector scopes, uh, embedded audio, focus peaking, zoom, zebra, false color, and safe frames, and more. And it has flexible 3D LUT implementation as well. So the Filbert CAT6 offers an array of features that will just help your recording and shooting. First and foremost, it supports uh, recording for uh, applying your own LUTs, you know, lookup tables. 
and plus with the LUT loop out feature you can transmit the final image to another device to a director or client for example. But the CAD6 is not just uh, for traditional filmmaking if you will, it also has live streaming applications. You can still use the LUT effect that you already applied and you can use it to add any visual enhancement on top of it, so like lower thirds and things like that, and it will be on your live stream. And uh, as for the price, you can get the Cut 6 for $260, depending on where you want to buy it. Uh, I just saw that, for example, B&H uh, runs a promotion for $230, so I guess it uh, depends on where you want to get it. I have two use cases when I love that I get to use them. One is these kind of talking head setups when it is just too complicated to use a longer HDMI cable to connect uh, to my camera and the other is when I'm shooting product videos and I want to put my control monitor further since I don't want extra weight on my sliders or jibs. Talking about sliders and jibs, I have a dedicated review about my go-to setup which is Adder Crohn's products. Why don't you check it out right here? Also, if you want to see a creamy b-roll I created and use this kind of products and the control monitor, check this video out. If you like this video, please do give it a big thumbs up, uh, subscribe and uh, smash that notification bell as well. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok since I have tons of good stuff coming up. I can promise you, you are not gonna regret it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Maybe in this. Click. Bye.